Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some dishes. Is the oven actually working? Okay, I don't want to burn anything. Hi, I'm Chef Adrian Urbina and I'm gonna be making grilled octopus. Click here to subscribe. Before we start, I need to know what do I have in this kitchen? Hey chef, welcome to my kitchen. Uh -huh. Our sink has been leaking, so recently we've been washing our dishes in our shower. No, that's my nightmare. Oh my god. <laughs> Today I'm making grilled octopus with eucalyptus, wasakaka, and persimmon. And I have to do all that in a kitchen without a sink. So I'm gonna check the shower and see if the water works. All right. I've never seen a shower next to a kitchen. That was very different. I need a pod, first of all, for the octopus. Oh, okay. All right, I found a knife. I really want to check this octopus, see if it will fit in that mini pot. Look at this guy. So first, we need to check the head and take everything that you see that it's black, like the brain. What you want to take out is this part. It's like a little black nail because this guy is so big we're gonna be cutting it so the octopus is ready while we make the stock and actually i need water to clean these knives a little bit I'll be in the shower <laughs> i have one onion garlic ginger i'm gonna use cilantro because i love the taste of cilantro perfect it's a little bit of salt smells good already garlic cloves whole ginger we're gonna leave this cooking for a couple of minutes Add the peppercorns, chili powder, apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons. We're gonna add the water. We actually need a little more. When it's boiling, I'm gonna come back and show you how we're gonna cook that octopus. So I'm gonna start doing my salsa verde and I need a blender. Check, oh yeah. Yes, 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 yes. We need a plug. Anything is possible. For the salsa verde or wasacaca, I'm gonna use zucchini and cucumber peel. Onions and cilantro and avocados. Two green peppers. Lemon juice. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I'm gonna die. Let's maybe change the plug. Fingers crossed. No, it's not working. Not working. Okay, we're gonna make it like a guacamole. Don't worry guys, it's gonna be good. Pause this for a second. Let's cook this beautiful octopus. We're gonna scare the octopus. We're gonna do this three times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, look at that. If you don't scare the octopus, the octopus is not gonna be super tender as we want it. It's gonna be very rubbery and tough. Ten. And now we're gonna leave this simmering for 30 minutes and then probably add another 15 more minutes. This knife, I'm actually gonna clean it. Start cutting the sauce. I wanna make like kind of like a paste. We're getting there, we're getting there. Now, I'm gonna put it here. Beautiful. Add a little bit of salt. You can do a little bit of lemon juice. And then we're gonna smash it. Get as smooth as possible. Mm, it's actually good. 11, 10, almost done. You need to make sure that all the octopus inside the water. Because if not, it's not gonna cook evenly. We can put this pot on top. Let's just do 20 more minutes. We're gonna start doing the eucalyptus. Be very careful with it. Make sure that your knife is very sharp. Something very important is to take this middle part out. That's actually not good for your body. And then all of this is garbage. I will normally use a grater for this, but she doesn't have one, so I'm gonna have to cut it in very small pieces. Cilantro, basil, two tablespoons of tapioca flour. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper, salt, a little water, little by little. All right, this is basically the consistency that we want. And then we need a very hot pan. Make like a little bowl. Okay, timer. Let's check the octopus. Yeah, baby, soft like butter. Put it in your container. While it's cooling down, the octopus is absorbing all this delicious liquid that you made. I don't know if I've seen a spatula. Look at that, beautiful. After a couple of minutes, you can put the octopus in a separate pan and let it cool down. Our latkes, they look like they're ready. Now we're gonna do the marinade. We need a shallot. We're gonna use half. I want to cut the super small. Cilantro, and I'm gonna use a little bit of the stem. This lemon. 
And we're also gonna use that cooking liquid. That's where all the flavor is. Five tablespoons. We need the chili flakes, sugar, to balance up the flavors. And now, cut this beautiful persimmon. Our beautiful octopus, super soft. I'm gonna try a little piece. Mmm, this is actually very good. We don't have a grill, so we're gonna use this burner. Let's see if she has some tongues. Sure. We can do it with a fork. Add a little bit of olive oil. You want a little bit of browning. It's gonna take a little time, so we're ready. I wanna marinate this with the sauce. This dish was inspired by flavors that I grew up eating. Octopus, I used to cook it a lot in Spain, and salsa verde and yuca, I ate it all the time in Venezuela. Our colorful persimmon, and it's ready to go. Mmm. I love it. This kitchen, <laughs> I need to talk to you. This kitchen needs a very good knife, and please, water in your sink. That will help you so much. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you want to watch more videos like this click here and if you want to subscribe click here it's a huge bite mm, 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 mm. delicious